Hey guys, it's Two Profu Games or Adam. Welcome back to another one of my top five videos. And in today's top five, we are going to be going over the top five rarest Pokemon in Pokemon Go or the top five hardest Pokemon to catch in this game. I do quickly want to mention that some of the Pokemon on this list are region locked, but even though they are region locked, they are still pretty hard to catch and rare in each of those regions. And also guys, if you want me to do more Pokemon Go top fives, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what top five you want me to do next for Pokemon Go. So coming in at number five on my list, I have Taurus and and this guy is currently only available in North America, so Canada and the US. And the reason why I put him in the number 5 spot is just because the amount of people playing Pokemon Go in North America. So right off the bat, you can evolve him, which is not bad at all because this guy is solid all around. He is a 100% male, and when you're catching this guy with a regular Pokeball, it's a little harder because he is medium difficulty to catch. Uh, of course, if you're using a greater ball or a ultra ball, it'll be much easier to catch him. And the most of the encounters that I've seen of this guy have been in the wild, but he is also obtainable through the 5 kilometer egg. So coming in at number 4 on my list, I have Mr. Mime. And this guy is region locked for... Only people in Europe and a little background on this guy. Uh, he is the evolution of Mime Jr. and he is also the barrier Pokemon. You cannot get the pre-evolution of him in Pokemon Go and from what I know of, you can only get him from the 10 kilometer egg. I might be wrong on that, but I think you can only get him from the 10k egg, uh, which is kind of tough because you have to walk 10k because the thing is with Pokemon Go, there's actually like a, a speed limit. If you go over a certain speed, it won't track your progress for the egg, so you pretty much have to walk. Uh, 10 kilometers and that takes a long time. So coming in at number three on my list I have Kangaskhan and this is the Pokemon that is only available in Australia and the reason why I put it in the number three spot is because not a lot of people have this specific Pokemon. The other Pokemon on this list like the number five spot especially the Taurus that one's only available in North America but a good amount of people have it compared compared to this one that's only available in Australia. A couple of facts about Kangaskhan, she is the parent Pokemon, or she's considered the parent Pokemon. Uh, you cannot evolve her in Pokemon Go, and also there is no pre-evolution. And if you want to catch her, you can get her in the wild. I haven't heard about too many people catching her in the wild, but it is possible apparently. And if you want to walk and catch her through an egg, you're going to have to go 5k because she's available in the 5 kilometer egg. So coming in at number 2 on my list, I have Farfetch'd. And this guy is considered the wild duck Pokemon and he is only available in Japan. Now there have been a couple of reports of people getting him in Korea, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And speaking of not 100% sure, no one really knows how to get this guy. And that's why I put him number two spot, just because he's region locked and, and no one knows how to get him. I don't know if you can catch him in the wild, or I don't know if you can actually catch him in an egg. And nobody really knows. You know, some places say you can get him in a five kilometer egg, and then some places say that you can't get him in any eggs at all. So we don't really know how to catch this guy, which makes him so rare. So coming in at number one on my list, I don't have one Pokemon. I have a total of six. And the reason why I have six in the number one spot is because these guys are considered the legendary Pokemon and these guys actually aren't even in the game yet but everybody is trying to figure out how to get them so there's Ditto, there's Mewtwo, there's Mew and then there's the legendary birds that is Moltres, Articuno and Zapdos. Now like I said none of these guys are actually in the game 
But at the same time, everybody is trying to find them. Like, especially, you know, Mewtwo and Mew, which is probably the best Pokemon. And everyone is trying to figure out on how to actually obtain these guys when there really is no actual way to obtain them. So hopefully, one day they will add all these guys into Pokemon Go so everybody can catch them and use them. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And again, in the comment section below, let me know if you guys want me to do more Pokemon Go Top 5s. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.